In this video, let's learn about the hemostasis. The hemostasis is defined as the arrest or the stoppage of bleeding. Don't get confused between hemostasis and the homeostasis. Homeostasis means the maintenance of the constant internal environment. But the hemostasis means and stasis means stoppage. That means arrest or stoppage of the bleeding. The hemostasis contains of three stages. When the blood vessel is injured, the injury initiates a series of reactions that result in the process of hemostasis. And it occurs in three stages. The first stage is the vasoconstriction. The second stage is the platelet plug formation. The third stage is the coagulation of the blood. So now let's learn about these stages in detail. So the process of the hemostasis is firstly initiated due to an injury to the blood vessel that leads to damage of the endothelium. This causes the exposure to the collagen and then due to the action of the von Willebrand factor the adherence of platelets to the collagen takes place. And this adherence of the platelets to the collagen leads to the activation of these platelets. Then these platelets act in the process of hemostasis that is the vasoconstriction, platelet plaque formation and the coagulation of the blood. The so stage 1 is the vasoconstriction. And this secretion of the serotonin leads to the process of vasoconstriction. And the secretion of the ADP and thromboxane A2 leads to the aggregation of the platelets by the action of the platelet aggregating factor. And this aggregation of platelets lead to the formation of the platelet plug. So this is the second stage of the hemostasis. And now coming to the third stage, the formation of the prothrombin activator itself lead to the blood clotting. So now let's discuss about these steps in detail. The stage 1 is the vasoconstriction. So immediately after the injury to the blood vessel, the blood vessel constricts and it decreases the loss of blood from the damaged portion. The process of vasoconstriction is purely a local phenomenon. When the blood vessels are cut, and the endothelium gets damaged, the collagen gets exposed. The platelets adhere to this collagen and they get activated. The activated platelets secrete serotonin and other vasoconstrictor substances which causes the constriction of the blood vessels. And adherence of the platelets to the collagen is accelerated by the von Willebrand factor. This factor acts as a bridge in between a specific glycoprotein that is present on the surface of the platelet and the collagen fibers. So this is the process of vasoconstriction. That is the first stage of the process of hemostasis. And now coming to the second stage that is the platelet plaque formation. The platelets get adhered to the collagen. The platelets get adhered to the collagen of the ruptured blood vessels and they secrete and they secrete adenosine diphosphate and the thromboxin A. These two substances attract more and more platelets and activate them. So all these platelets aggregate together and they form a loose temporary platelet plug or a temporary hemostatic plug. And this plaque closes the ruptured blood vessels and it prevents the further blood loss. The platelet aggregation is accelerated by the platelet activating factor. So this is all about the stage 2 that is the platelet plaque formation. And now coming to the third stage that is the coagulation of the blood. During the process of the coagulation of the blood, the fibrinogen is converted into the fibrin. And these fibrin threads get attached to the loose platelet plug. And this blocks the ruptured part of the blood vessels. And it prevents the further blood loss completely. So in this process, the ruptured part of the blood vessels blocks and it prevents the further blood loss completely. 
so this is the third stage that is the coagulation of the blood so guys this is all about the process of the hemostasis if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists